don't expect in industry in a country town. People don't. People think of country towns as you know, cow paddocks and whatever. But about this. Uh, the thing that would uh, give me the greatest pleasure in, uh, with the Mill Project would be to have a vibrant uh, collection of people here running their businesses, making a profit, having some fun. The Mill was uh, part of the uh, Crago uh, milling empire that started out uh, in the middle 1800s. So a couple of uh, people came from uh, England um, they were poor, unemployed farm workers. They started up in Yass, two brothers. They bought a mill in Yass. Uh, one of the brothers came to Bathurst and they ended up uh, establishing two quite distinct uh, milling-based businesses. What brought us to the mill originally was the idea that um, uh, we had a very interesting property here in Bathurst and it had the potential to be uh, a destination for a certain type of person, you know, we were looking at a f mixed food, arts, cultural uh, facility that would appeal to a wide visitor base and would have an appeal to the local market as well. So a nice place to go where you can just, you know, it doesn't feel like a Woolworths or a McDonald's. And, yeah. uh, one significant uh, aspect of restoration of the, uh, the mill is uh, authentic uh, joinery woodwork and uh, to that extent we were fortunate to have met uh, with Peter Bant who is a long established uh, woodworker in the Bathurst area and uh, he came to us at the mill and brought his machinery with him and has been a great asset in helping us uh, do old school woodwork which is something that's very very hard to get done today. Uh, custom uh, joinery is uh, expensive, uh, sometimes to be found in capital cities, but uh, very rarely in a country town can you find uh, someone who can create uh, the sort of products that he helps us create. I do anything that Bernard requires to restore it to its, you know, form of glory. Or, you know, I've been in the game for 60 years and. Uh, I think I know it backwards. I'd like to think the mill will be more accessible. That um, as a series of um, uh, mainly open spaces or interconnected uh, workplaces, that it's a place where you'll be able to wander around and get some experience uh, of a building. required to nominate um, on your development application the use for your building before you even finish it, which is a bit of a strange um, situation because when you start with a project like this it can take 12, 18, 24 months to come to fruition and over that time markets can change, uh, you know, a whole, a whole range of things can change. So what we thought we might attract in terms of tenancies or businesses 12 months ago there's been some evolution in perhaps in our thinking as to who might enjoy the space, who might come in here and form part of the mix. Council has um, given some ground on uh, uh, a major point, which is that we can stage the opening of the building. Uh, that'll allow us to uh, manage the, the process uh, in a more orderly way. So that, that was a good, good development. Uh, so we think we're on the right track uh, and we should know within the next week or two. We've got a heritage consultant who's now preparing a report in the manner to which council would like to see it prepared, and uh, that should be a major turning point. There, there are a lot of old buildings uh, around which, which need help, or, or which, which need to be sort of adaptively reused, so you've got to think up some new use, where, where for instance, in this case, the, the old building is, is no longer used for its original purpose. And, and there are a number of others around town where, where the same thing is happening. I would have thought that given the nature of the building, its potential, the fact that there are people in this community who have been trying to do something with this property for 20 years as a community facility, that we would have had far greater support for what we're doing. And that's been the great disappointment. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, the, there's a desire to get the project to finished. Uh, that's a big motivation because uh, you can't move on to anything new until you tidy up what's behind you. Um, so that's the main thing now, is to get some sort of completion point, uh, or at least see the end of the road. See the light at the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel, and hope it's not a steam train coming at you. I think this is a very good example, you know, of where you've got a, an interesting old building that um, that could be that could be useful, you know, and, and could be could be really quite fun in terms of, of you know providing a good building in the town. I just think this is something that should be should be done and brought back to show what it can be done. Not slapdash. And uh, Bernard isn't doing that. He's putting the money in his mouth where the money is and, and that sort of thing. And I, I just think it's, it's a credit to him to have enough to do it. You know, many a person do it half do it and, and finish up with half a job. But this one, he's, you know, he wants to restore it to wider, its former glory. So that's what we're working on at the moment, to get our development approved, uh, to get the farmer's market up and running and to progressively roll out. Uh, once the farmer's market's up and running, we'll know that we're heading in the right direction. That'll bring people in, it'll create interest and uh, lead to other things. And who knows, it may end up leading to another project somewhere. <laughs> we'll see, time will tell.